Friday night time for our Making a Difference report. It's about the global effort to find members of a dwindling population, the people who are still alive today who played a role in the Holocaust. Tonight, NBC's Martin Savage has the story of one tireless American investigator looking for those who committed a towering crime against humanity. For Eli Rosenbaum, every day is a race against death. We are very, very conscious of the ticking of the so-called biological clock. For nearly 30 years, he's had just one job, working in the Justice Department, hunting former Nazis living in America. Certainly the number must be in the hundreds, but there have been estimates from hundreds to thousands. But as suspects age, Rosenbaum is increasingly aware death may find them before he does. It's a pursuit that began when he was just 15 and asked his World War II veteran father to describe Dachau. Irving Rosenbaum was there the day after the death camp was liberated. His um, mouth opened as, as though he were going to speak, and his, um, his eyes welled with tears, and he couldn't speak. Unlike the 1974 thriller The Odessa File... All I did was to obey my orders. You are an executioner, a butcher. Rosenbaum doesn't track former Nazis on the street, but on paper, scouring long-forgotten files that can link a person's past to the present. In October, he and his team identified an 85-year-old Georgia man as a former Nazi who trained concentration camp attack dogs. And investigators continue their efforts to try and deport a former Cleveland auto worker accused of being a death camp guard. There are eight prosecutors in Rosenbaum's office and ten historians. They have to prove cases more than 60 years old without the aid of weapons, fingerprints, in many cases not even eyewitnesses. So far, Rosenbaum has won 106 cases against former Nazis, deporting 64 of them, spurred on by the pictures in his office and the documents in dusty archives, like this signed death warrant for a Fruma Kaplan who was executed in 1941 and thrown in a pit at age six. It took Rosenbaum 10 years, but he found the man who signed the order living outside Boston. One more death avenged, millions more to go. Martin Savage, NBC News, Washington.